is for our new garden. Good work, Luca. Breaking in our boots. Hey there, Mandy Lee here. And um, we're gonna talk about gardening today because I love to garden. And I haven't really gotten a chance to do it for the past like almost two years because when I was pregnant, it certainly wasn't happening. And then right after I had Luca, it also wasn't gonna happen. So we're so excited that Luca's finally at an age, he's at 19 months now, where I can get outside and I can start doing yard work and he loves to help and he loves to participate. So it's a great way that he can learn about um, nature, that he can learn about science, that he can learn about math, we can do counting, um, and kind of learn the magic of the fact that you can like plant a tiny little seed and then grow something that you can actually eat and you can appreciate and cut like flowers and smell. So we um, started our fall garden because we're in California so we can plant all year round. And there's a few things we did to make it really um, interactive for Luca. Are you ready, Luca? Here, grab your basket. Let's go, we got our boots on. Oh yeah, we love our boots. Show them the back of your boots, your dinosaur boots. OMG, the cutest yard boots and rain boots ever. And mama's got her boots on too. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Hunter, but if not, they are an amazing boot brand for working outside and being in the rain. Let's go, my man. Hey, here's our little garden. And <laughs> Lucas brought his basket in so we can start harvesting. Okay, so one of the things I learned really quick was that I didn't want my toddler stepping all over the plants I just planted. And I didn't want him just like coming in and picking stuff when it wasn't ready to be picked. And I wanted him to be able to still be out here and understand the concept of gardening and like it. So here's what we did. To his water thing for watering, his little gardening box. I have a little chair that's his height here. And then this cooler is also his. And inside this cooler is all the different things for him to plant his own garden. This, he's doing some more watering. Good job filling up your watering can, Luca. <laughs> Off to go water some more plants. You're such a good helper. Ding. So these are all Lucas things. These are um, special gardening tools for toddlers. And these are all his insects. So he can put his insects in the garden because different insects are good for different things. And then these are all the things he can plant. Let's do it, Luca. I'm gonna start with some pears. Yeah. Let's plant some pears in the garden. Did it, pears, right, that's the sign for pear. Lemon, oh yeah. Oh, corn, nice, let's plant some corn. Yeah, go ahead, you can do it. Nice. Good job. Oh yeah, let's plant a pumpkin. Over here, we have our flowers and we have a grasshopper and a centipede. So we can talk about how the centipedes, you know, are really good for the soil and how butterflies like the flowers and how um, caterpillars turn into butterflies and bees pollinate the flowers and how they get the nectar from the center. So there's lots of fun things that you can do using these fake insects. All right, so normally we don't plant all these things at once, but since we're sharing with you guys, we thought we would show you everything we got. But this is a great way you can talk about colors, you can talk about the different strain vegetables and fruits and flowers. All right, so to get all these cool things for his garden, I pretty much just went to Michael's, which is an arts and crafts store. If you don't have one by you, you could check out like a Joann's. 
So I knew it was gonna be in the dirt. I knew it was gonna get wet because Luca was gonna water it. I knew that if we didn't stay on top of it, it might be left outside. So I wanted things that weren't paper. So a lot of fake um, flowers and things are paper. So I stuck to the ones that were um, more rubber material and um, that had a harder outside. This way, if it got wet and stuff, it didn't matter. And I got ones that all had stakes so that Luca could actually stick it into the soil and it would stay there. Um, so as you saw, we had like lemons and pears and apples and corn. Um, I got flowers and same thing, the flowers that I got, I tried to get ones that were actually a little on the rubber side so that they wouldn't get gross. The insects are all just like rubber insects, which you can also get from Michaels, but you can also get online. I know Melissa and Doug is another company that has good, good insects like this. Um, I thought that a lot of the succulents in the store kind of looked like um, cauliflower maybe. So I thought those were kind of cool to use as substitute vegetables because succulents in stores always are kind of made out of a more rubber material. For like the strawberries, they were selling these strawberries loose in the store and then I just got this succulent flat and stuck the strawberries in it because that's kind of how strawberries grow anyway, right? They grow in a whole bunch of green stuff. Um, so this way he can harvest everything, like he can pick up all the berries. Um, and he can also use it for planting. We also just got, you know, like a pumpkin because it was, um, it's been fall season. So we're learning all about pumpkins and gourds. Okay, some of the other gardening tips are um, if you can create an area in your garden, you can see here I've got this pathway so that way he doesn't have to walk on top of the plants. That is a plus. Went out and got some cool little garden stakes that have like moving wings and are animals and he loves those and he likes to come visit them every day. So it's another just fun element of the garden. Another tip is we've had an issue with rodents and <laughs> rabbits and things trying to eat all of our food. So that's why we're in this fenced in little vegetable garden. We just use PVC pipe and like chicken wire and just kind of tied it all together and put it in the ground with some rebar. So it's pretty simple, but it creates this nice place where I don't have to worry about my veggies and things getting eaten. And it also keeps Luca inside here with me when I want to garden, which is also really helpful. The toddler can just get up and walk away. So um, if you don't have this kind of an option that you can create, you can always use a baby gate to kind of keep them in one little area. Do you think setting up the little kid's garden is really helpful um, to keep them wanting to stay engaged and not by your side and not wanting to run away? But these are some also some other options you can consider. Okay, and then my other mom tip is whatever you're gonna need to garden, have in your garden. Like you don't wanna have to go run to a tool shed to go get um, like cutting shears or scissors or clips to tie back some of your vegetables or any sort of trash bin to put any of your cuttings into. Like whatever you're gonna need, watering can, you wanna find a place in a storage bin right where you're gardening. Because if you have to like leave the toddler to go run and do that, that's just not gonna be fun because the toddler's gonna get into all sorts of stuff you don't want them to get into. Um, and it's gonna be hard to hold their attention. So what I've found is I have a limited time window when I want a garden where Luke is gonna stay engaged and participate and then I'm not gonna get anything done after that. So having everything right there makes it super quick and easy for me to do what I wanna do while he's playing and interact with him in between all that. I know people are gonna ask what we're planting. So for fall, here's what we planted. We planted a bunch of edible flowers. So we have nest, whatever that is, nasturium. I'm really bad with pronunciations. We have this one, another edible flower. This one, another edible flower. Peas, some bok choy, some chard, some more bok choy. Over here we have some carrots and broccoli and cauliflower, some lettuce. Okay, Luca. Some arugula, some spinach, and some chamomile for tea. All right, so 
that is how we're doing gardening right now. We're super excited about it because it seems to be working really well. It still takes a large amount of patience when you have a toddler and you try and do anything with a toddler. But I feel really good and really proud of myself that, oh look, there goes my toddler. <laughs> that um, I found a way to make it work and to still introduce nature to him and gardening to him at a really young age because I'm hoping that's something he takes with him as he gets older and older. So if you have any other tips or ideas on how you do gardening with your youngster, um, please write them in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ideas. And I really, really encourage you to get out in nature with your kids. Um, try some of these little tips and tools out that we're using. Let me know if they work for you. And share this with anybody else who you know has a small kid and would benefit from some ideas on how they could get outside and start doing some gardening and nature with their kids. So you got this. You can do this, mamas and dadas. <laughs> Go have fun with your kid and uh, get outside.